Hello folks and welcome to my Vegatouch Mira app video. I have a 2022 Tiffin 37 PA. That's a red. And I'm going to show you a little bit about this touch panel that you may or may not know. There is two mobile apps contained in the spider. If you hold your finger down on the Mira button, you can see it changed to the VegaTouch app. VegaTouch Eclipse, for me, does not throw out any Bluetooth. I have no idea why uh, Eclipse, VegaTouch Eclipse was not able to do anything about it. But anyhow, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to go and use your VegaTouch app. So first of all, you got to change it back to Vega Touch, which I'm doing with my finger. And when you reset the pin to default, it's going to default to 777777. And the first time you hook up to it with your phone, it's going to ask you to change the pin. So for the purposes of this video, I changed it to 111111. Yes, six ones. Okay. So we're gonna go back to the main screen on here. How I got to that, I'll show you. So you go wireless settings, mobile app, and then there's my Vega Touch Mira app. That's the only thing that works in my coach. I don't know if it's because of my equipment, but I doubt it. I have an iPhone 8S Plus, I have an iPad mini and an iPad Pro. And I've got the app loaded on all of them so you can see what it looks like. We'll start with this one because it's bigger. It tells about my Go Power panel. And then there's a lighting page, which is here. And just for sh showing how things work, um, when they have the arrows on them such as these do, they are dimmable. So if you hold your finger on it, it will dim. So I'm dimming my ceiling lights right now. And if you hold your finger on it long enough, it goes back to bright. So you have main, entry exit, bed and bath. You always have the master. So when I click the master off here, which I'm gonna do, bingo all the lights went off so let's see if we can turn them on from this one imagine that all the lights turned on and then we'll turn them off again from the iphone okay so back to the main screen then you have a rear front and floor temperature and I have the furnace off I'm down here in the keys where it's actually hot out I'm sweating producing this video um, front you can see I do not have the front air on but I do have the rear air on I didn't want to make noise so over here all these screens scroll and you can see you have climate fresh water gray water black water you can turn your aqua hot off and on you can turn your water pump off and on which i just did you can start your generator which i'm not gonna do because i don't want to start it right now but if i did hit that start button guess what we're gonna have a generator so the only slide out devices that work are the tv lift up and down so I'll go ahead and show you. I'm holding the button on the TV lift. And lo and behold, here comes our televator. So to further elaborate on this app, the Vega Touch Mira app. Bluetooth, it sends out a Bluetooth signal to my phone and my iPads. 
the Vega Touch Mira app, I have not been able to get to work because for whatever reason, it does not send out a signal via Bluetooth. I have no idea why. I'm gonna take the TV back down. I think I pretty well summed up. Uh, I'm gonna go through the Go Power Panel as soon as I get this TV down. So you can't run the slides with the app. Which is fine, because it'd be a bad idea anyway. So I'll go ahead and start the generator just so you can see that it works. Don't really want to, but why not? Gotta confirm the start. And... Imagine that the generator started. You can see my house and chassis batteries. Um, the house just came up big time with the generator being started. Not quite sure why that is. Um, I don't know. But I am plugged into 50 amp service. Okay, the house went back down, so it must have. Uh, scrolled around and figured things out that's why i didn't really want to start this but i'm going to stop it again because i don't want my generator running i've got a few more videos to do so there we go i wasted a start on my generator for the purpose of this video <laughs> okay so we also have the go power screen and i wanted to show you how that works it tells what it's putting out Looks like 120.8 watts. Batteries at 13.1 volts. It's in bulk charging. Battery type is flooded. It's been on for 103 days straight. Go figure, I'm down here in the sun. Seven day average is coming up because I, um, 343 amp hours I unplugged this for a couple days to see if I could run my battery down with the refrigerator and it actually did not run down okay and then you get basically the same screen here's the iPad mini basically the same screen just a little bit smaller And then again over here, you can also do the Go Power on your phone. If you ask any questions in the comments, I'll be glad to help you out. Gonna go back to home on all the screens. Home, home, and home. Uh, just to show you how it works. So my rear AC is on. I'm gonna turn it off. You can hear it running. Turn the rear AC off. There, AC is off again. The front AC is off. Here's my floor heater. And then I'm gonna back up to the furnace again. Uh, you see I have heat pump and furnace. Well, I got the Aqua Hot 250. So the furnace would be my aqua hot and the heat pump is the air conditioners in the ceiling. Well, I think I've done a pretty comprehensive video on the Vega Touch Mira app. Um, like I said, if you got any questions or need some further pictures, I'm going to the mobile app once again to show you that I'm on the Vega Touch Mira app. And if I wanted to change it and it won't work, you hold your finger on the mirror button and now it is the Vega Touch Eclipse app. And I can guarantee you there's gonna be a lot of happy people when they watch this video because it took me a couple hours to figure out how to use this. And when I did finally get it to work, it was about midnight, and I was sitting at the Tiffin, uh, Tiffin lot, just bored out of my mind about midnight. 
okay we got a few more things we're going to cover in future videos um, we're going to do the magnum power panel auto start for the generator um, we're going to do a little bit on the gps updating scenario i can show you how to update your gps i've sold rvs all my life and i owned my own rv store for a long long time 20 plus years so i'm pretty good at answering questions but at any rate have a great day click like and subscribe i appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing to my video channel on youtube thank you